In this quick lesson, I'm going to show you how to use the Resize tab in the Size, Scale and Rotation in the Design Center. So here we're going to look at these measure tools to begin with. And these are very handy for measuring objects and resizing objects. I'll give you an example of that. Here we have a van that we know it has a wheelbase of 135 inches. And we can simply set our uh, measurement here, our distance, and then just change this to 135 inches. And this will automatically rescale the van to that size. So now it's actually one-to-one -one scale, and then you can apply your signage on it. Now this other side of the van here, we want to apply the same size scale that we've just done to the other side. So we click Apply here, and that way you can reapply the same scale you just used. And you can see here that this is now 135 inches on the wheelbase here. Now of course all of these modules have their own help file down the bottom left hand corner as you can see, and you can come back and watch those anytime you like. And that's how we access those particular tools and features, and they're very handy for sizing, measuring, and uh, also adjusting the rotation. You can do very fine rotation adjustments using that tool there. Now another tool that uh, set of tools here is this Fit Page and Nest Options. For example, you might have a background image that you want to use for your sign like this one here. But instead of trying to fit this particular job to the page itself like so, where you fiddle around and then it doesn't quite fit and you've got to do too much uh, adjustment, you can actually use this tool which actually fits the page to the image or to any object, it doesn't have to be an image. And that lets you apply the page as the background size that perfectly matches the image. Then you can, for example, lock the image off so that means you can't select it while you're designing on it. Uh, and that's a very handy thing as you can see you can't select it. So that's a, a handy set of tools to have to be able to fit the page itself to the object. Uh, another set of tools here is these nest objects. So if I want to just fit these objects under the page as best as they can fit, I click nest objects like so, and it squashes them in to fit like, like that. Now you'll notice there's this gap here of around half an inch. Now to change that gap or that offset, what we can do is come into the nudge here and change it to say 0.1 of an inch, like so. And now you'll see when I click Nest Objects, it's a much tighter fit. So you just change the nudge and that changes how uh, the offset or the gap between the objects when they're nested. So that's how that tool works. On this page here, I've got this picture of this horse here and I want to fit the horse to the page. Rather than fitting the page to the object, I'm going to fit the actual object to the page. And I can do that here using these previews. As you can see here, you can fit to the width, to the height, or you can actually stretch it to the page like so. And when I click that you can see that it actually does, it applies the, the size. I can also set the padding or the offset. So if I come in here and say changes to say an inch, you'll see now that there's an actual offset to the width, height and to the stretching. When I click there, there's my offset. So that's how we use these resize tools as explained and um, they're very handy and useful for doing this sort of work. And that's the end of this lesson.